Jack Fletcher, JF Boxing TV. Delighted to be joined by Eddie Earn, back in Robin Hood County. Yeah. Wood, Conlon, Albert Hall, bit of needle there. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? I mean, um, 10 years nearly since Froch Butte here and at the arena. And this fight's got a lot of the sort of Frampton Quigs about it. You know, you've got obviously England against Belfast, Northern Ireland, and I the whole of Ireland, really. And uh, it's going to be a huge crowd. We're expecting 9,000 sellout, probably two or three Irish thousand Irish as well and it's a really really good fight and full credit to Lee Wood because you know he's a guy that deserves this opportunity. In contrast to the Kanzu fight how does Lee Wood need to switch up his stat strategy his style to, to get a win against Conlon would you say? Well it's a different style but I would say that you know Kanzu previously was probably a favourite going in against Michael Conlon um, before the Lee Wood defeat so you know, he's got the confidence of that victory Conlon is very versatile, he's a very good fighter, um, but Lee Wood believes in himself now. He's got a great trainer in Ben Davis and he's punching very hard and he's got to go in there and do the business. Would you say from your point of view, Eddie, this is a 50-50 fight yeah, straight down so. the wire? Yeah, I think so. And very important to get home advantage, you know, and I think Lee deserved that. You know, one, he's wanted it for a long, long time, and two, he's the champion. So, you know, on the night there'll be a lot of noise from both sets of fans, but it is a 50-50 fight. I just believe that. Lee's got that belief now and the support of this city to go on and take the victory. A lot of fantastic memories in the past as you touched on Carl Froch, uh, Motor Point Arena. It was supposed to be at the city ground at some point. There was a little rumour flying about, but Motor Point Arena, Different, great atmosphere. Difficult in March, you know, like, I'm adventurous, but it can be chilly in March in Nottingham. And, uh, you know, the carrots there for Leewood to win this fight and then go on and fight, hopefully, the winner of Josh Warrington against Kiko Martinez. Could be at the city ground that fight. And Nottingham against Leeds be very lively on that night as well and uh, but he's fully focused on March 12th. And, and what did you take from that press conference? There was uh, quite a bit of animosity, quite a lot of needle, a few words said. Oh, I think I, you got dragged into yeah, it at I, one point. I got, I got a lot of passion. I've got two teams, two kids that really want to win. You know, for Michael Conlon who's lived and breathed the sport of boxing for so long, this is his chance to become a world champion. He's got a bit of a chip on his shoulder, he's away from home. And for Lee Wood, he's here in his own city with a lot of support. And it means a lot to him. So I love it. I love it when it's like that. This is exactly the kind of press conference you want. So roll on fight night. It's going to be a huge night. And how do you envisage the uh, press conference panning out in, in Belfast oh, tomorrow? Lively. I'll probably get a lot more stick there. But that's what we live for. It's going to be a great great night, great presser tomorrow. Get your tickets coming out tomorrow. I heard on the grapevine that Conor McGregor is going to be in attendance. So is that a, really? is that a Chinese whisper? I don't know. Sounds like a good story to me. We'll go with that. Yeah, he's definitely going to be in attendance. Uh, I have no idea. He's more than welcome. Legend. Uh, and, and just touching on Terry Harper, yes. comeback fight, really tough fight she's got. Um, this is a deal breaker for her, surely. Yeah, it's a great fight. And I have to give big props for uh, to Steffi Ball uh, and Terry Harper for taking this fight. Full undercard will be announced tomorrow. And that's a big fight, you know, it's had a great reception. You know, Heather Hardy's a bit of a legend, really, in, in female combat sports, mixing MMA and boxing, and she's a tough, tough girl. It's going to be a great fight. You've got to admire Terry Harper, the fact that she's just picked herself up, dusted herself down, and uh, yeah, this is sure. going to be a real challenge yeah, for she, her. She believes she should be winning fights like that, and, and I believe she will as well. Eddie, thanks very much for your Cheers, time. Cheers, mate. Thank you.